Good morning. It is Friday and we're headed to Traley. So once we get there, we'll find our accommodations and tomorrow we start hiking. A little bit nervous or a lot nervous. Didn't sleep good last night. part of the adventure. We made it to tra Traley. Actually, it's trolley. Actually, I don't know if either one of those is right. Anyways, this is our first lodge here. This whole building all the way down is uh, the Traley Lodge, Holiday Lodge. This is where we're staying tonight. Tomorrow we hike to, to camp and end up at another B&B. So here we go. downtown trolley cute little town stopping at the yellow door on Denny Lane for lunch staying at the Traley Holiday Lodge, there's a Te Tesco Express right across the parking lot. The Traley Lodge is right over here. So it's nice and close if you need to get any snacks before you take off in the morning. Good morning. It is Saturday and we're finally going to get ready our, to start our hike. We stopped off for breakfast here at the Coffee Start in downtown Traley. It's a cool morning. We're supposed to get rain right at the get-go. We'll see. Um, yeah, we're so excited to get started. Uh, we've been in Traley overnight and this place is just super cute. We've officially started. We just left the sign and we're headed through town to the roundabout. And our first monument is the windmill in Glenville. So exciting! All right, we've made it through the made it to the um, roundabout we're headed towards Dingle and Glenerville you see the sign over there so far very well marked our first official marker. So the North Perry Way goes along the same um, route for a while anyway. So I'm feeling much better this morning. I was super anxious over the last few days not knowing what was ahead of us even though I knew I have a tendency to get anxious finally fell asleep last night around 2 o'clock in the morning and slept till 7. My first good night of sleep since Monday night. So excited to be out here. Look at that. I didn't realize there was this many mountains. Been walking along this canal for just a little bit. The windmill is up ahead. It's our 
first big marker that tells us we're going the right way. water we would be walking by and it's been a while since I've done geography so Still doing a, a bit of a in-town road walk. We haven't hit a real trail yet. By the way, I'm also using all trails. So all trails that you can follow. This one is one of them. We just came down this road here. Here's our next turn. A biker stopped to chit chat with us. Really nice man. People here are super friendly. Our first bit of climbing for the day. We're about three and a half miles in. of the bay. We've been pretty much um, walking through country roads, through neighborhoods and so on. But we should be hitting some trail up here pretty soon. You know um, how much I love signage. Here we go again. Sheep on the hills. Lots of markers. View of the water. We came from over there. We've done almost four miles already. Only 300 in elevation, so uh, it turns into trail at, in about at 3.8 miles if you're keeping track of that. So you know how much road walking we did. Nice bench here. to talk about our accommodations from yesterday. The Traley Holiday Lodge. We uh, booked a prep 
private room. It had a bathroom. You get a towel, some soap, and some shampoo hair conditioner. Um, the room was very simple. Um, they do not provide breakfast or lunch, sack lunches. However, the town is super close. So this morning we got up before we left and found just one place that was open around eight o'clock to get some coffee, breakfast, and uh, we were able to get the coffee shop to make us a very simple sandwich of ham and cheese on a croissant with no mayo. Took a picture and video of that coffee shop so you can refer to that if you're looking for some place there wasn't a lot of places open that early at eight, eight o'clock most of them open at 9 a.m but a uh, nice place to stay if you're coming from the state i know that we are used to um, something a little different uh, as far as hotel accommodations but this is just a you know a place to lay your head the owner Matt was uh, nice and um, was able to meet some of the requests that we had uh, so anyways that's a little bit about the accommodations online via email, made the reservation, got the confirmation. The only thing is, for some reason here, they don't actually give you a res reservation number or a confirmation number. So that's a little different than the we do in the States. I don't know about in other countries, but just something to know. Where we came from and where we're going. There's two ladies in front of us and a couple behind us. But that's all we've seen today so far. There's a little bit of a fence here. It's probably for the sheep. I guess we'll probably be just stepping over it right there. Just kind of turn the corner here and camp is not too far away. That's the name of the town, but it's pretty soggy. We have it across. Hmm, should I take the ladder or the road? I think I'll take the road. The fern are growing wild around here. In the distance, you can see the people following us. This beautiful tree with these. 
too are these sheep. Oh my gosh. Hopefully you can hear me. It's kind of windy over here. Long hair. miles, 1100 in elevation, in 4 hours and 54 minutes. There are some rocks on this trail, but they're pretty maneuverable. But they're not consistent, consistently along the trail. There's places where they're not this bad. You're going to veer off to the right here. And we're coming back to the road. This is the first shade we've had all day. Not that we needed it, as it's been overcast almost most of the day. The sun's trying to peek out right now. monument to check it out. It was an old church and those buildings that we passed that I took pictures of were, they say, here before then. We're going to stop here so I can eat my part of my sandwich. I've had a banana. done. So pretty. Had the best ham and cheese croissant sandwich from the place we stopped for breakfast this morning. It was a ham with Swiss cheese, but she said the cheese was really light, not super Swissy. So good. No mayonnaise, no lettuce or tomatoes, just ham and cheese. It was like delicious. Highly recommend that place. I will put um, a link or the name of the co coffee place in the video. All right, we're getting ready to come into camp. We are staying at the Sea View House, as listed there. So, we're just about done. So excited. This is muddy through here. Ooh, yucks. There's a lot of stinging nettle here and possibly 
poison oak or ivy. I haven't checked it yet for sure to make sure if that's what it is. Maybe I'll do that tomorrow. These flowers have been alongside everywhere. Oh, does the view get any better than this? There was a sign back there that said if the river was flooded to go another way, but look at these nice, cool steps. This trail has been very well maintained. The sign here going right is going to Cloghane, and the one up there is going to Dingle. We got to pull out GPS and figure out where our B&B is. So we're going to the right here uh, towards Cloghane. Roadwalk. It says it's 0.82 Seaview House. Making our way to the B&B. They have bounce houses in Ireland. Who knew? We are at the main road here. to our B&B. There's a gas station across the street. I don't know if it's any good. We had to walk down a hill. It's a mile from the trail and mostly flat. The last, I don't know, little bit was downhill. So here we are. This is the view from our B and B. Nice porch here. Haven't gone inside yet, but it looks nice. The view from the Sea View House B and B from our room. Look at that. So nice.